hey good evening everyone this is the continuation of the series of the timing so we will time with respect to the mounds you know uh, and that's a that's the part we will uh, go about in this particular uh, video we will discover when are the different periods and what are the different planets that are affecting the person so we'll try to see when you know which planet is getting affected the most or coming into operation the most we will not be timing with respect to line but we will pick up certain hints from the lines to understand which energies are most dominating and which energies are not that dominating during a particular period so we will divide it with respect to you know largely with respect to the lifeline so if we sort of you know divide somewhere 12 comes here around 17 comes over here 22 over here 24 over here 28 comes over here 33 and so on we will try to you know sort of map it right and what i will be largely doing is that we will try to see in in which years what energies are getting dominated the most right so that that way you will be able to relate more strongly you know uh, what's happening to this person's life uh, largely and in what year so just for simplicity i've taken some timings as well uh, largely i will be speaking about different ages and what mounts or what are the you know strong uh, uh, planets that are uh, you know playing part in this person's life we will try to see it from the different lines and gauge those cues second we will try to also predict what can be the future of this person and third we will also be discussing about some of the mantras that can help this person progress faster now let's go to the beginning of the hand uh, let's see largely from 12 to let's say 24 years of age so 12 to 24 would, would cover i would i would sort of cover it with a in a circle uh, it would be largely this period okay on the lifeline okay this would be 17 to 24 or so and you can clearly see that during this phase you can clearly see this line that is rising towards the jupiter this line again going towards jupiter these lines again going towards jupiter and you can see on jupiter also there are a lot of uh, you know vertical lines so when we are timing with respect to the lifeline right we can clearly say that between 17 to 24 or 12 to 24 jupiter is playing a very important role now let us try to see from the heart line perspective as well you know when we look into the heart line the heart line itself is getting drawn towards the mount of jupiter you see uh, if if i continue this line it's sort of getting inside jupiter itself which does mean that Jupiter current is very strong during the childhood times because if I have to time the heart line, roughly this would be around 22 and then if we shift more this side, this would be 17 or so. And you can clearly see the line is going towards the Jupiter mount again. So there's a fair good amount of consistency that is coming in, right? So around the early ages, that is from 12 to you know 24 or so, we can clearly say that Jupiter is, you know, acting. So Jupiter, uh, 12 to 24, Jupiter is acting, right? So Jupiter is there. Now let us see what else is there, right? We, we, we will try to understand that part. And then we will try to figure out what are the situations the person can attract. Now, uh, let's look in with respect to the job line, okay? So this is the job line, right? Uh, the the sort of uh, you can say the vertical line that is cutting across, right? This is the job line, and let's see where it's going towards. Now, largely speaking, the job line is heading between Jupiter and Saturn, but then this is happening a bit later. If we go earlier than that, that would be you know this would be around early twenties. Uh, but if you go more deeper, there are no major indications as such. The line is not developed. So we can say that during the childhood times, though though the person might have been very ambitious and driven, maybe which career the person has to go, the person might not have decided. And we cannot, as there is no line that is present over here, it's very difficult to say if there was any other planet that was there. 
so as of now jupiter remains the only energy source now let us look in from the headline perspective now from the headline you can see that many lines are going towards the jupiter clearly so jupiter is there but then you can see these lines also rising right and these are going towards saturn okay uh, so a bit of saturn is also acting you know obviously saturn acts as an obstacle to begin with uh, and we can see a lot of such lines and then there are few more lines going towards saturn right so and one line only one line is going towards sun but that too is an obstacle line it's an horizontal bar so uh, these forces are not acting as per very good you know they, they are sort of uh, yeah they are acting as an obstacle because they are moving towards saturn and we know the horizontal bars going towards saturn can bring some form of depression or some obstacle in general and then you have few more lines starting from uh starting from aggressive mars and sort of getting attached towards the headline right even if we sort of extend it it goes towards the marriage line uh but largely speaking they are originating from mars and attacking the headline under saturn so again the horizontal bars are not good so what we can say largely from 12 to 24 okay and then again this is an hypothesis 12 to 24 jupiter is uh, working well saturn okay saturn is acting as an obstacle mars is acting as an obstacle and to some extent sun is also acting as an obstacle so what it can mean is from 12 to 24 the person can be very hopeful the person can be very ambitious the person can be very driven the person can have good leadership and managerial skills right these will be the things that will work in the favor of the person because jupiter is strong but then mars is also operating that means between 12 to 24 there can be a lot of ag aggression there can be a lot of anger there can be a lot of conflicts because mars is that sort of a planet which creates a lot of heat right and heat can indicate aggression fight uh conflicts and stuff like that and especially it's the aggressive mars and then we have the saturn also coming into picture and creating an obstacle now saturn can represent uh you know depression saturn can represent slowness uh saturn can indicate obstacles and it can also indicate um nervousness right uh because it also rules the structural part so it can indicate bones Right, so there can be some obstacles with respect to all these things. Maybe, uh, you know, Saturn was working in a negative way. This can indicate though the person was trying to expand because Jupiter is a planet of expansion, but then Saturn was also coming in between to slow the person down. And also, at one incident, we see a Sun also coming in, which can indicate that with respect to home, there could have been some troubles. Or it can indicate that with respect to creativity, because sun represents creativity, there could have been some uh, difficulties. Sun also represents fame. So this can indicate some hindrance towards there. So 12 to 24, largely speaking, looking in from the majority of the lines, uh, even from the heart line, you see some lines are going down towards Mars. So that does indicate that Jupiter is acting as a positive force, whereas Saturn, Mars and Sun are acting as slightly negative forces now let us take another chunk and try to see what's happening so let's take from example 33 to 43 years of age so 33 to 43 you see that there uh, are some lines that are rising okay so like 33 you can see this line but then you can see few lines are also rising towards saturn so the amount of saturn effect is beginning to increase uh to some extent right and and because there is a vertical line going towards saturn very solid that does indicate that saturn is working towards the favor of the person right so uh, roughly speaking from 33 to 43 the jupiter is acting as a positive force now saturn is also beginning to act positively right uh let us see from other lines we see some obstacle lines coming around right and these are going towards uh, either passive mars right so the passive mars uh, in a way uh, is acting in a negative way 
passive marks can indicate that the person is very very docile or the resistance is less because passive marks indicates resistance so passive marks is slightly negative because there is a horizontal bar right and uh, what else uh, looking at with respect to the job line from 33 till 43 that would be this period you can see that uh, you know the lines are going between jupiter and saturn and that means jupiter and saturn are acting positively which we did confirm from the lifeline as well but we do see certain horizontal bars coming in right between the heart line and between the mars mount and heart line would indicate towards the marriage line so this can and the marriage line is more to do with uh, maybe venus but largely speaking mars is acting positive uh, negatively so minus passive mars and then uh, even aggressive mars is sort of min minus right because it's uh, there are horizontal bars that are coming right and acting as obstacle now let us see with respect to uh, the other lines right uh, so passive mars we figured out and uh, the negative mars uh, we figured out now with respect to the heart line uh, around 33 to 43 would be this period most of the lines are going towards aggressive mars so again that indicates that the aggressive mars is acting negatively around 43 or so you can see the sun line coming in so sun is acting positively that's where the sun line is coming out right and that's a positive thing especially in the later years right so that energy is coming into picture as well so these are some of the markers that we can see so largely we can say just to quickly summarize right from 33 till 43 okay jupiter is positive right uh, saturn is positive right uh, mars in totality is negative right uh, then sun is big, becoming positive right uh, and yeah that is what we get and this is pretty interesting right so you see initially uh, jupiter was only positive whereas saturn mars and sun were negative slowly we see saturn and sun are becoming positive for the person but mars remains negative in both the phases which clearly indicates that you know between 12 to 40 the person has to improve uh, mars and that's where ch uh, chantings like Ma uh, ram would be very helpful whereas jupiter is acting positive all along so that's where having a guru or going towards a guru will be very important for the person and similarly sun is op opening up it's improving over time and same way saturn is also improving over time now that is how you will you can relatively time which planets are operating at which juncture hope this concept is absolutely clear now coming to the future of this particular person you see there are a lot of negative lines to begin with especially till the ages of 35 37 but if we see 37 40 onwards the line is looking much more consistent right there are not too many horizontal bars moon is coming into operation so in the later years of the life the person will have a lot of moon energy right so the only drawback that the person can have is there can be too much restlessness but apart from that there are no obstacles there are no horizontal bars so that is a big relief so uh, in in times to come the person's moon's energy would be higher and uh, the person needs to balance his restlessness but uh, keeping that aside rest of the uh, line looks fine right and the line is moving towards ketu so moon and ketu are becoming important in the later years of the life clearly as the lifeline is indicating right and apart from that let's see from the other lines as well especially between let's say 50 to 60 50 to 60 you see uh, this line uh, that is your uh, you know what we call as the headline no major indication but yeah uh, there is a horizontal bar going towards passive mars so the passive mars continues to act negatively you know uh, and uh, you know uh, roughly between 50 to 60 and then 50 to 60 you see the sun line is doing well so the sun is finally improving you see a lot of positive mercury lines so the mercury is improving and you see a very prominent job line as well so 50 to 60 we can say largely the life would improve for the person though the person will continue to face some obstacle from with respect to mars but overall things will go fine.
so hopefully you got few more uh, understanding as to how to time with respect to the mounts thank you take care have a great day bye bye